All right, I wanted to show the difference between a graded region and just updating the surface itself, the topo surface in Revit. So I have two of the same um, topo surfaces here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to update this surface. So I'm going to um, select this surface and just go to Edit Surface here. And then I'm going to place some points. Now I know that these points are at 0 and these points are at 10. These are at 20 and this is at 10. So what I want to do is place points that sort of drive a road through here. So I'm going to go to my site plan, place point, and I'm going to set those point at a 10 foot elevation and just go through here and create right that sort of road right there and then hit check and if you go to th back to 3D you can see that I sort of carved that road through there. Now we could adjust that later. Now I've lost that original topo surface so I don't really know what the difference between what would be maybe the existing topos and my new one is. It's fine if you don't need to know the difference but if you do then you can use a graded region one thing that I generally do before I create a graded region is if you select this topo surface you notice that it's new construction. If this is your existing topos and you're going to change them you can always select them and change them to existing and you're going to see they're going to turn gray and I'm going to come up to massing in sight and go to graded region and it's going to ask me how would you like to add to create, it's going to create a new topo surface for comparison and leave the existing one as it is. And you can create a new one either by duplicating this one or if you were going to, for example, raise the site flat and build your own topography, you could just use the corners. But we're going to create a new topo surface exactly like the existing one. And then it wants me to select the topo surface that I want to change. So I'm going to select, right? And now I can update this. So I'm going to go back to my site plan and do a similar update. Let's zoom out and get over to the one that I want to use. And place points. And they're going to be set at 10 as well. So I'll just make a road that kind of goes through here. And then if I hit check and go to 3D, you can see that I have a very similar setup over here, but I have two surfaces and it's actually the part of the topo that's been demolished has been changed into dashed lines. And if I come over to this, my view, if I select my view here and I drag down, you'll see this phasing. And so if I go, you can see it says new construction. If I just select existing, right, it only shows the existing contours. Now I go to new construction. It brings back the new construction with the demolished lines on top. You can also filter out. So I just, if I just go to show new, it will just show the new things. You can use a phase filter as well. Or you can go to show all and it shows both of those on top of each other. Now if I pick this new topo surface, you're going to see it's going to give you a cut and fill. There is no fill because we cut out most of it, but I could come in and if I change that um, surface, say if I go to edit surface again, and let's put some fill in. So I'll go to place point, I'll leave it set at 10, and I know this is lower than 10, so we'll sort of bring that thing out and plateau it. And hit check. And then if I select that again, you're going to notice that there's net cut and fill numbers in there as well. So that's the difference between having changed, updated just the surface and doing a graded region.